Hello, and welcome to my crochet era. If you're not following my TikTok, that's a shame. Um, but for a couple, a couple good years now, I have been crocheting my life away. <laughs> um, my granny taught me back in 2000s before she passed away. Um, and then I started picking it up a couple years ago, and now I'm just a crocheting little, little girl, you know. Um, but right now, I figured I would just talk to you and give you a little update on my life because I haven't been posting anything besides short, like short form content. But decided why not start off with the crochet vlog. So I'm just going to update you every time I'm crocheting something. Right now I'm making a skirt. There's a pattern I found on YouTube. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's for a baby. A beautiful baby. So I'm excited. It's coming along very cute. Um, I'm doing it for a baby shower. I'm probably going to also make a little cardigan or a sweater or a top. Maybe a little baby teddy. I'm not really sure yet. But we'll see how it goes. It's Tuesday morning. Good morning, everybody. So I finished the skirt last night. I just have to weave in the ends, which should be fairly quick. Um, but the good thing about making baby clothes is it doesn't use very much yarn. So I still have all of this yarn. I'm thinking of making a cardigan. Wouldn't that be crazy to make a whole baby outfit with like socks and little mittens and a whole skein skein? I don't know how you pronounce it. It's five dollars. Five dollars for a whole baby's outfit? My gun, I wish my outfits were that cheap. Am I right? Hey, this is what I'm currently working on. I decided to make a cardigan in the same color. It's gonna be really cute. It's a cute little matchy set. I'm excited. Uh, it's 10.30 a.m. I'm still in the same parking lot doing this um, top because the shift orders just aren't working out for me today, so they're not really doing anything for me. But um, I did the front. I'm completely finished with the front. Now I'm working on the back. Um, if you can see the vision, it uh, folds over. And this is where the baby's neck would go. But it's coming out really cute. I really, really love this yarn. It's very soft. I'm very excited about this, um, this set. I hope the person likes it because it's kind of hit or miss with crochet items. That's what sucks about making things for people. You don't know if they're going to like it and you just spent like hours on it and most of the time people won't tell you they don't like it. Which kind of sucks. Like it's like you don't want people to be like I don't like this but at the same time you kind of do want people to say that because I don't know it's just kind of I don't want to wait. I could literally give it to someone else you know what I mean like someone that actually wants it like. I don't know. I just put my heart and soul into this crochet, and you don't like it? Blah. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I don't take a lot of time with my hair, so it's nice to get a nice little blowout one. 13 year old Maine Coon. If you're wondering about the last clip, essentially, I forgot to add um, the chain 15 to one side of the top even though I did it to the other. So I had to make a separate little chain 15 block that add the rows and attach it to make the straps that go on the back. <laughs> so hopefully it works out because I'm not redoing it. A pretty vicious cold that took me out for a couple days, but today is Sunday and I'm working on a really cute multicolored bucket hat that's from a passionate Kelsey um, pattern. <laughs> My brain just died. But yeah, it's going pretty good. Happy Sunday. In case you were curious, I did finish it. It came out super cute, super cute, super cute. On to the next project. There's also not any information about what weight the yarn is, and there's just these symbols. This looks like it's meant to be hand washed. What's up? Today is Monday. I'm working on another bucket hat. It's a different vibe for sure because the other one is a lot more less. Um, obsessive in the eyeballs. I don't know. This one, it just goes together. It flows. This is just so dark looking. And then it's pop. Pop daddy. Ooh. Pop daddy. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, and also if you've never watched this girl, you totally should because she is hilarious. I started working on this top about a month ago and I, um, 
pinned it down on this board and then I got it wet and I let it sit for like a month because honestly I just was kind of lazy so now I'm gonna finish it off make the straps and then put it on my mannequin to take pictures okay so update I finished the top this is a different one um, we're gonna try to pin it onto this to see how it looks I'm very excited to pin this I've been working on it for a good bit but let's undress her first. <laughs> We're gonna try to pin the one I just finished. It's straight off the hook, as they say. Um, I don't really know which way is the front. I probably should have been paying attention to that. But it is what it is. Am I right? Am I right? Where are my little hooks, pins? I don't have the professional pins. I have these ones that go um, on the board when you're blocking stuff, but it'll work. So that's all we need to do. We don't need to go into more debt buying things when we could just use what we have. Mm -hmm. And this is supposed to be over the booby area. Oh my gosh, it fits perfect. Okay, so this is supposed to be the booby area. I don't know if it's going to pin because it's not a very good pin. You know what? We're not going to do the pin situation. It's not working. I might have to actually get push pins, which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Let's just connect it and then fix it after because clearly your girl is sagging. Anyway. All right, besties, for the resties, don't get too excited about the front, okay, because we have to fix it to make it look cute, and then we'll do the full frontal. I don't know why I'm being so weird. So basically, when I did the um, tutorial, I think it's pronounced Shiler, or Sh... I think it's pronounced Shiler. Um, her crochet tutorial basically said you can only do the sides like this and um but I'm gonna do the bottom too because I feel like it would be really cute but you could leave it open I'm not really sure how I feel about it maybe it's just for people with long torsos oh, I don't know let's give this a little clippy clipper I'm not sure if I like doing the bottom one I don't know about that it's kind of I don't like that at all. No, no, no. We're going to leave that down. I'm thinking I don't like this bottom part. It looks really funky. Doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe once it's on an actual body, it'll look cool. But let's, let's puff out. Let's puff them out. Okay. All right. Make sure everything's leveled. We tie the back. Good morning, cutie pies. It is Tuesday. It is quite a bit rainy. I'm making a bucket hat out of two colors instead of three. I'm using the Passionate Kelsey YouTube tutorial if you also wanted to follow it. But, um, yeah... I finished two bucket hats yesterday with the same colors and also a purple, but I gave them to one of the beautiful, amazing people at Sweetwater, which is a coffee shop that I love to go to. But unfortunately, I cannot go again after today for a while because it's just getting a little too pricey and Brianna's pockets are starving. But God is the coffee good. <laughs> 